Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of I Am Penge and welcome to Alluris, which is a sort of role-playing story generation game where we tell a story by making decisions based on cards we're presented with and each card represents one day in the life of our character. So we're sort of telling the tale of our character via the use of cards and we move the card to the left and we do one thing, we move it to the right and we do another. And we've seen a similar thing with something like Reigns, so that's got a very similar mechanic. It looks really interesting and some of the the artwork looks very, very pretty indeed. So I thought we would have a little look at this. It's due to be released onto Steam and it's going straight into the full version. There's no early access, just straight into the full version on the 11th of October. If you're interested, there are links to the Steam store page in the video description below. But we've got our hands on it a little bit early thanks to a key from the developers, which is very kind of you. So thank you very much, devs. That's very lovely. So I think we'll just dive straight in. Let's dive straight in and start a new adventure in the world of Alluris. Okay, so we've got to configure the character that we're going to be playing as. Um, Gender-wise, we can choose from male, we can choose non-binary, or we can choose female. Do you know what? Right now, let's go for male. I am a male. Let's play as a male. And these have been locked away. So these are the only two that we can choose in terms of race and background. So we're going to have to start as a male human farmer. <laughs> it sounds wildly exciting. So yeah, if we flick this way and then that way, we can see that all the other options are locked away. Although it does look like there are some quite interesting races to choose from. I would say that is an elf. That looks very much like a dwarf. That's some sort of tree man type dryad sort of thing. That looks a bit like a werewolf. Um, not entirely sure what that is. A swirly thing. So it could be a swirly thing. That looks kind of like a fairy. And that, if there's water here and someone there, I would say that looks a bit like a mermaid. Which looks very exciting. I like the fact they've got good old standards in there. You know, dwarves and elves. And then some slightly more unusual ones as well. And these are all locked away as well. So we can't go and be anything except a farmer. Which means that we're just decidedly average. We're just average at everything. Uh, humans have no bonuses. They've got no debuffs. Farmers, no bonuses, no debuffs. So we're just playing this completely vanilla, if you like. Just the most average that we could be. Um, The name that we've been given is Gandalf Trickfoot. I mean, we can... We can sort of uh, randomise these as much as we like. Anduin High Church. That is a very fantasy name, isn't it? Um, let's not call ourselves Anduin High Church. As good as that name is, let's call us something else. I think we shall call our character Mickey Mediocre because he's the most mediocre average character that we could make. He's just a human male farmer with nothing exciting going on for him at all. Normal stats, common human, no bonuses, no debuffs. He's entirely mediocre. So yes, let's call him Mickey Mediocre, shall we? And then let us start our journey. So here we go. So we've got a card in the middle which says birthday. Around the edge we do have uh, health meters. We've got 18 out of 18 health. We are level 1. We have 80 gold and we have 1 karma. Uh, we're on day 0 and it says the road. So I assume that's where we are. There's a number of treasure chests down the side as well. They don't do anything. Okay, well, let's get on with it, shall we? So, birthday. That is a fabulous birthday cake. Check that out. Oh, I'd love a slice of that now. Uh, you've come of adventuring age, and your uncle offers to take you to Alluris to sell an artifact he found. So, I believe we do this. There you go. Um, I'd rather strike out on my own, or, all right, let's go. Yeah, okay, I'll go with my uncle. That's absolutely fine. Yes, we will go with him. The two of you load up the cart and head out, taking the road to Alluris. Okay. Oh, we have been ambushed by an orc who looks, he looks quite marvellous. Look at how oh, he's got a good chin on him. Wowee. Uh, your uncle yells for you to run. So I can either go get help or I can help to fight. Do you know what? I'm not going to run away. I'm going to go and help you fight, uncle of mine. I'm going to come in and help you fight. Now, I don't know how this works. Let's see. Your uncle takes a bad hit, but the two of you destroy the creature. Your uncle remarks that the creature must have come from the mountains. There's a rumour that Baron Dread is building an army up there. Baron Dread. Oh yes, what an excellent name. However, we have taken quite a hit to our health. And we've got up to level two, so we must have got some experience from fighting that orc. So it's given us a maximum of 26 health, but we're only on six. Okay, right, so we've taken a bit of a heavy knock there. Um, before you stands the city of Alluris, and it looks very grand indeed. It's got a sort of a bridge going over a river. Here's the entrance gate, huge big castle, lots of spies. It looks very, very lovely. So what do we do? Uh, leave uncle with a guard and head out, or bring your uncle to a tavern. Well, I mean, we've done well so far together. 
Let's stick together for now. So you drag your uncle to the tavern. He tells you that someone will need to stop Baron Dread before he marches on Aloris. They'll need to be extremely powerful though. And the map behind us has changed. So I assume this is now representing the fact that we're inside somewhere. This is great. Okay, so day three, the tavern. A night's sleep can heal anything. That might be quite useful. Hang out in the tavern or injured uncle. Get a room with uncle. Um, well, yeah, let's get a room with him to make sure that he is okay. And me as well. I could also do with uh, with healing up. That healed up 200 health. I've only got 26. Crikey. As you settle down for the evening, your uncle hands you the treasure he wanted to sell. He tells you it's for your birthday and you should sell it here in town. Can I not keep the treasure? I like treasure. Um, so what have we got? This thing here? Uh, he offers to buy your treasure for coin. What is my treasure? Is that my treasure? Okay, uh, what are the options? Keep the loot or sell the loot? Well, I don't know what the loot is. What is the loot? I'm not sure what the loot is. It's sort of a shiny thing just there, but I don't really know what it is. Um, do you know what? I'll keep it. I will keep the loot. I don't know what it is. The merchant shrugs and reminds you that keeping it will only make you a target for bandits. You walk away. From here, you're on your own, but Baron Dread is out there and you don't have much time. Okay, well, I should possibly go and get some sort of weapons, maybe. Um, the fair. Hang on a minute. There's a there's a terrible bad guy rampaging around and I'm going to go to the fair. Of course I am. Oh, yes. <laughs> Let's go get something to eat at the fair. There's a large fair going on. Do you attend? I've got better things to do or sure, why not? Yeah, if there's a fair, I'm going to the fair. Thank you very much. So, oh, look, the backgrounds change. That's brilliant. A uh, jousting tournament. There is a jousting tournament about to start. Uh, let's do something else. Head over and watch the tournament. Well, we're here. Let's watch a bit of jousting. That's it. Gallop along and jab each other with sticks. You spend some time watching the tournament. It's a lot of fun. Okay. Was that it? Okay. Ring toss. Play ring toss. The man reminds you it's not part of the fair challenge. Okay. Is that some sort of pun? Am I never going to succeed? Let's do something else. Or why not? Okay. Yeah. Let's have a go at the ring toss. You try and fail to score enough points. It was still fun, though, and it did cost me a little bit of gold. There's a comically oversized cannon. That seems dangerous. Volunteer to be launched out of it. Yeah, why not? Absolutely. Let's go and get launched out of it. So we took some damage, but we have gone up to level three. <laughs> you hurl through the air and land perfectly in the centre of a hay bale with a bullseye on it. Yes, absolutely. Well, we took a little bit of a knock to our health there, but never mind. There is an archery contest starting. Pass or give it a go. Again, we're here. Let's give it a go. Ooh, we have given a load of money. You split your own arrow on the bullseye, earning you the amazement of the other fairgoers and the top prize. Who knew that I was an archer, eh? There we go. A mead stand. This place is brilliant. I've been here for days. <laughs> a small stand with many mugs of mead catches your eye. No thanks. Buy a mug. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's buy a mug. Why not? There we go. Ten gold. Oh, we got a health back. You drink the mead. The rich flavour of honey is worth the coin. I do like mead. I love a little bit of mead. It's lovely. Uh, make a head back. Do you want to head back to Arturis? Stay at the fair. Uh, Arturis? Aluris, not Arturis. Aluris, or let's head back. Do you know what? We've probably done everything we can do at the fair. Let's head back to Aluris, not Arturis. Um, a shady figure. A shady figure walks up to you and offers you whatever he has in his pocket for a price. Yeah, I've been warned about people like you, Sonny. Okay, <laughs> right you are. So, um, okay, what price are you asking? I'll pass. Or what's the worst that can happen? The worst that can happen is that he tricks you and smashes you about the head with this staff just here. We do some tough things here. I'm human, I'm male. I'm the fair cannon champion. And I'm the fair archery champion. Ah, oh, these are little sort of achievements that I've done. Um, do you know what? Shady figure... I will pass from whatever is in your pocket. I don't want that, thanks. Your loss, he says, phasing away. Yeah, probably the right choice there. Um, music store. The old shopkeeper offers you a deal on an old loot. I'm no musician or buy the loot. How much is it? I could, if it's 10 gold, then great. If it's 200, then I don't want to. Um, oh, do you know what? Why not? Let's buy a thing. It was 100. You pay the shopkeeper and retrieve your loot. It's beautiful, but you have no idea how to play. So I have a musical instrument. I just can't do anything with it. Can I use it as a weapon? It appears as there is a large party going on. Oh, well, Luris is an amazing place to be. I'm not interested in royals. Go peer in through the gates. Yes, go and peer in. 
What a fabulous looking party. The Queen looks noticeably bored by the festivities, though. That is a shame. Um, there's a large fair going on. Do I attend? We've been to the fair. We've been to the fair. I've got better things to do. Town merchant. He offers to buy your treasure for coin. I kind of get the feeling that he's just going to do that forever, isn't he? Keep treasure, sell all treasure. Uh, I'm going to keep it again. Uh, leave town. Maybe it's time to get back on the road. Uh, yeah, I kind of... I would feel better if I had a weapon of some description. Can I not go and buy a weapon? Okay, let's head out then. Come on, then. Um, oh, a pack of rats. That is... That is the weirdest rat I've ever seen. <laughs> what? What is this? I mean, it's wonderful. Uh, I mean, wow, that is that is some curvature of the spine right there. Wow, that's amazing. And walk away or attack the rats. I've got full health. I should be able to take on a common pack of rats, I would hope. So I lose five of those, uh, five health, but that's fine. So, um, and my level went up a tiny bit. Okay, that's okay. And now we stand before the dunes, before you lay an endless desert wasteland. Uh, no thanks, or enter. Do I want to go into an endless desert wasteland? I would stay away from an endless desert wasteland. Wild berries. You find some brightly coloured berries. Leave them or eat them. I'm going to leave them because they will probably poison me. And also my health isn't that bad. Um, okay, there's a tree in the road. There is a tree in the road. Okay... Do I, do I need to care about the tree in the road? Ah, there's some sinister eyes peeping out from within the tree. Leave it behind. This looks like someone else's problem. Or try to move it. Well, I'll try to move it out of the way if I can. You try to move it, but you are too weak. But it got us some XP and my health went down a little bit. Cave entrance. You stand before a cave entrance. Walk away or enter. Yeah, do you want to go into the cave? Do you want to go into a cave? I'm not entirely sure I want to go into a cave. Let's not go into a cave. Let's walk away from the cave. You happen upon the city of Aluris. I'm wandering around in circles. <laughs> Somebody help. Um, okay, keep walking or enter the city. I thought I'd already been here. Okay, well, we'll keep walking. Um, farmers hiding on the roadside. Something that looks like it spooked these folks. Oh, can I help them? Uh, it's their problem. Follow their frantic pointing. Oh, absolutely. Don't worry, folks. I'm here. Ooh. An unsettling creature, an ore crawler. Um, that is one of the weirdest kind of creatures I have ever seen in the worlds of kind of you know fantasy, like you know goblins and dwarves and stuff. That is very odd. So it's a barrel. You gotta get that a barrel monster with little eyes. Its legs are made of of ore, presumably, but then out of the top are some tentacles. <laughs> what kind of creature is this? Um, gross. These uh, farmers are on their own. Or fight. Do you know what? No goods, no glory. Let's have a little fight with it, shall we? Right, okay, we took a massive hit to our health, but we did kill it, and we've gone up a level. You smash the creature. The farmers are safe from its unholy scuttling. Though they don't have any gold to pay you. Instead, you take the barrel it was wearing. Okay, so I've kind of got a barrel. Yay. Venture into the forest. Can the forest heal me? That would be quite nice. Um... Let's keep walking. Uh, a picnic basket. As you walk down the road, you come across a carefully prepared picnic basket of fruit. Oh, this screams trap if ever I saw one. Eat the fruit. Take the fruit basket with me. Yeah, now I'm partly tempted to eat it to get some health back, but this is clearly going to belong to someone else. Let's take it with me and then hopefully... Oh no, I'm attacked by Highwaymen and I'm a bit weak. Challenge three. Now, that thing was challenge five, the, the weird barrel monster thing. That was that was a challenge of five, and it caused 14 damage. So, in theory, I should be okay. I should not take 13 points of damage. Um, try to play a song or attack. Hang on, I've got a musical instrument. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play music at them, even though I don't know how. <laughs> Just gonna, I'm just going to go and get my lute or whatever it was and just sort of go... Doo -doo 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 -doo. You strum what you think is a chord, but they kick you in the shins anyway and take all of your loot. Oh, okay. Did they take all my loot? I've got 110 gold. Um, I've got musical instrument and my barrel and my fruit basket. I don't think they did take all my loot, game. Uh, the town of Bradford stands before you. <laughs> well, we've gone up to the north. Um, yeah, let's enter Bradford. Why not? Uh, so there we go. So we're in another place. 
They like cabbages here at Bradford. Lovely. Who doesn't love a cabbage? Um, church monks. You come up, uh, upon a group of town monks. Okay. They look kind of cool. They've got a symbol carved into their heads. Refuse or donate to the clerics. Oh, let's donate a bit of money. There we go. The tavern. Yes. Let me into the tavern. Maybe I should get a room for the night. Get a room. Yes. Health is back. Um, tavern hangout. The tavern is where deals happen. It could pay to hang around. Guess what can we do? I've got places to be or hang out in the tavern. Okay, yeah, let's hang out in the tavern then. Let's just spend a day kicking around in the tavern. An old man takes a seat at your table and offers a job. He needs an old mill on the road cleared out. It's filled with ghosts. How do you suggest I clear out a ghost, sir? <laughs> what you need is, you need to call the Ghostbusters. I hear they're very good at that sort of thing. They apparently ain't afraid of no ghost. So I've heard. Um, old Mill Ghost Clear Out. Little in the way of details. Insist it is his legal property. Um, I don't do real estate as a policy. I will rid the mill of ghosts, no problem. Oh, come on then. Let's go and do something with the ghosts. Did I go and rid the thing of ghosts? Because now I appear to be a drinking tournament. There's a drinking tournament in a nearby tavern. The laughter echoes into the rural streets. I don't do competitive alcohol. Bring it on. Yeah, go on then. Why not? You dive into the contest with hearty effort. You stare down the last competitor. As you go drink for drink, just as seems to be fading, the world goes black. Oh no, did I lose? Maybe it's time to get back on the road. Uh, yeah, okay. Can we find this place? Can we find the place with the ghosts in it? Because I'm not entirely sure I've sorted that. Oh, I see what the people stole from us. They stole the loot that was here. They stole the thing that I had originally. Ah, oh, I should have sold that then. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, An aerodynamic stone. It looks a little bit familiar, that sort of stone with the shape on it. Hello, Skyrim. You find a particularly aerodynamic stone. Okay. Ignore the boulder. Attempt to pick it up. Okay, I'll, I'll I'll buy it. I'll pick it up. You try and fail to pick up the stone. Yeah, I don't think Lord Dread, wherever he's going, needs to worry too much if I can't pick up a stone. Um, a pack of rats, yes, will attack the rats. That's fine, we got some XP. Took a little bit of damage. You happen upon a river. Okay, what do we do? Ignore the river? Go fishing. Oh, go fishing, absolutely. Uh, you catch a fish and eat it. So our health is back. Yay, marvellous. The old mill. Here we go. So this is the guy's mill. You see the old mill on the side of the road. Now I'm doing other stuff. All right, let's give it a look. So this is going to have ghosts in it. As you push inside, a booing sound grows. And several ghosts of young children fill the room. Oh, well, as if ghosts weren't creeping up. It's a, it's a, a ghost of young children. <laughs> okay. Mill ghosts. One of the ghosts raises an old cane in your direction and points toward Alluris. Okay. Grab the cane and slowly walk away. Or fight. Why is the ghost doing that? What do you want me to do with the cane? Pointing it toward Alluris. Did something happen here that was somebody in Alluris's fault? Okay. I'm going to grab the cane and slowly walk away. You happen upon the city of Alluris. Well, let's go in. The tavern... I don't need a room for the night because I'm fully healed. So I don't need to do that. I can rest when I'm dead. Uh, the old mill owner. You return to the old man who owns the mill. Why clear out the ghosts? Ah, well, small old cane. So they gave me this cane. Okay, let's figure out the story. What's going on there? The old man quietly takes the cane, lost in thought. He stands up exclaiming, Maybe there's still time. He leaves coins on the table and mumbles something about the true meaning of Christmas as he dashes away. Okay. So we've completed our first quest, I think, because we've gone up quite a few levels. Did we go from four to six? We've got a big pile of gold. 545. And our health max has gone up as well. Um, I mean, was that Scrooge or something? Okay. Um, delivery medicine for Bradford. A man laments he won't be able to make his medical delivery to Bradford. Well, don't you worry, my good sir. I will deliver the medicine because I'm nice. Um, there's a party going on. Um, okay, go and peer through the gates. The queen is bored again. I don't want to go to the fair. Uh, I'm going to leave the town and go back to Bradford. Okay, berries. Right, I'm. I'm. I will eat them or leave. Leave the berries. The path leads off into the mountains. I want to go to Bradford. Uh, yeah, keep keep walking. 
A bridge troll. Oh no, he would cross must answer me these questions three. What is your name? What is your favourite colour? Okay, um, okay, fine, yes. Now I don't do ominous riddles, or I shall answer your questions. Okay, right here we go. Answer me questions. <laughs> what is your name? Tell him your name. <laughs> what is your quest? To cross this pointless bridge, to find adventure. Lame, he bellows, throwing you into the river. <laughs> I've just been, I've been trolled by a troll. Ah, however, the river has led to the town of Bradford. Let's enter the town and let's deliver this medicine. I've arrived in Bradford with the medicine. Uh, deliver medicine to the address or sell it on the black market. Oh my word, you can be an awful person. No, I'm going to deliver the medicine to somebody. Which I would have thought would have got me more karma. It got me entirely no karma just there. Oh, okay. I thought that might have got me some karma for helping somebody out. But okay. Uh, the man at the door thanks you and gives you a small purse of gold for your trouble. He promises that he'll spread the word about your reliable delivery skills. Okay. I could do with, could do with having a little rest to get my health back up. Uh, careless trader. You see a distracted street merchant. You could swipe some of those wares. Draw his attention to his booth or steal the goods. I'm going to draw my attention, uh, draw his attention to the booth. You arrive at the front of the booth and have to inspect some of the items he has on display. After a moment, he realises his error and thanks you. Again, that got me no karma. I would have thought that would have got me some karma. But okay, never mind. Maybe give me some gold. Um, drinking tournament. Yeah, let's have another go, shall we? You show up and grab a mug of the hardest stuff in the tavern. Uh, st hardest stuff the tavern has, sorry. Three drinks later, you're on the ground. When you wake, some of your money is gone. Next time you swear, you'll go for a heavy dinner first. <laughs> Gotta line that stomach. Uh, a peaceful wizard. You meet a strange wizard, aren't they all? He tells you that true heroes create peace, not war. Then he disappears. Uh, old kook, they're called warriors. What a random yet earnest sentiment. Yes, I completely agree. True heroes do create peace, not war. Indeed. And um, the tavern. Maybe I should get a room for the night. Yes, get a room. Cost a little bit of gold, but our health is back up. Um, tavern hangout. Yeah, go on. Let's hang out in the tavern. You peruse the bulletin board. There's a personal ad for a healthy young adventurer. Shouldn't eat too much garlic. They promise a fun time and aren't picky about gender. Shouldn't eat too much garlic. Am I going to be employed by a vampire? Personal ad. The ad says to meet them in their personal grotto in the forest. Yeah, alarm bells are ringing. Do you know what? Yeah, you only live once, right? Let's go and meet somebody in the forest. <laughs> there we go. Right, game trail. This looks like a good spot to do some hunting. Whatever that is. What on earth is this creature? It's, they just chopped it in half. Well, there you go. Do you want me to cook it first? I mean, I like the fact you provided some cheese. That is lovely. But can you not slice this up a bit? Um, appreciate nature or try to hunt some food. Well, we've already got enough health. We don't need to do that, do we? I imagine the food would give us health. So no, let's, let's appreciate nature. You reflect on the majesty of the wilderness around the road. It's beautiful. I'm sure it is. Frozen wastes. You find the entrance to the frozen wastes. No, thank you. We'll keep walking. Wild berries. Uh, we will leave the wild berries. Fruit cart. You come across a roadside fruit cart. I am carrying a basket of fruit. I'm already full. Sure, I'll take some. Okay. I'll take some. Oh, it just got me my health back. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. I had some fresh fruit. Yay, yay for vitamins. It's probably good for my complexion and my skin. Um, two men arguing. They point at each other, claiming each is the real one. Oh, no. We've got two kind of crazy duplicates going on. You're both real. Neither of you are real. Um, you're both real. They stop and look at each other. After a few minutes discussion, you find that they are long lost brothers. Thank for the dis for the discovery. They toss you a sack of gold. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's nice. Uh, Bradford is before me. Hang on, what was I supposed to be doing? Didn't I have a quest to do something? Um, okay. Wasn't I going to go and meet somebody in the mysterious woods? Okay, fine. Well, let's let's keep walking past Bradford. Pack of rats will fight them. That's fine. Twelve hundred there. Happen upon a river. Go fishing. Get my health back. Uh, the forest. Right. Yes, I will enter the forest, please. A large viper. You're beset by an angry, oversized danger noodle. <laughs> okay. I do like the backgrounds. 
Do you know what I like about the backgrounds as well? As well as they're also different depending on where you are. I like the fact that they move. It's not a static game. Stuff is moving. The background is moving. These little things are animating. I quite like that. I like the fact there's a little bit of sort of life, a bit of oomph to it all. Um, we'll fight this thing. We'll absolutely fight that thing. Cheerio. I lost 11. Ah, easy peasy. A forest spider. It's no use running. She's faster than you. Fight the forest spider. We lost 11. I found some berries. I kind of feel like I should eat the berry. Go on then, I'll eat some berries. Um, look at you. They were good berries. <laughs> Marvellous. Um, a dire boar. A large dire boar crosses your path. Run away or fight. Yeah, we'll fight again. Ouch. That quite hurt. I happen upon a small cottage. Um, okay, let's head inside the small cottage. You go to open the door. It bursts open as a pack of werewolves, <laughs> werewolves in bonnets leap at you. Okay. A path leads back to the road. Stay here or walk to the road. Wasn't I supposed to find a clearing or something? Um, okay, I will stay here. This is the mountains. A path leads off into the mountains. Okay, we'll keep walking. Oh, a mysterious sword pedestal. It says that only a true hero can pull the destiny sword. Are you worthy? Walk away. You don't do ominous pedestals or try to pull it. Yeah, go on. Let's give it a go. You grab and pull grunting with all your strength. It doesn't budge. Of course it doesn't. Another pack of rats. We'll deal with them. A large viper. Okay, we can probably deal with that. Overgrown grove. Here we go. This is where we want to, wasn't it? A mysterious grove. It sounds like a battle's happening inside all these vines. That's uh, that's just asking to get trapped or attempt to crawl inside. Go on, I'll try and crawl inside. Um, after several minutes of concerted effort, the vines are too tight to climb under or over. The fighting continues inside. Okay, so we couldn't get in. Do you know what? We'll have to go back to the road. I couldn't find where I was there. I couldn't find what I was looking for. I don't want to go to the desert. I want to find myself a um I want to find myself a tavern again. Um oh, do we want to do some hunting? Do you know what? No, let's appreciate nature again. Yay, beautiful nature. An injured woman. You find <laughs> you find an injured hag woman. That's not very nice, but he's met her. Uh, leave the old hag behind or take her with you. Come with me, injured hag woman. We've got some, I've got some karma for that because I'm nice. You happen across a river. Let's go fishing. All you find is worthless junk. Okay, there's pollution in this world as well. Picnic basket. As you walk down the road, you come across a carefully prepared picnic basket of fruit. Let's take the fruit basket with us. Ah, right. The city of Alurius again. Let's enter the city. Drop the hag woman off in town. Yeah, seems like a good place for her. So we'll drop her off. We've got some gold and some karma. The gypsy woman thanks you, hands you some coin, then disappears into one of the alleyways. Oh, that was nice of me. I did a nice thing. Um, The fair. What can we do at the fair? Maybe we could complete the other things at the fair. So we don't need to do the cannon or the archery. Yeah, go on. Why not? So here we go. Mead. Let's buy a mug of mead. Drinking the mead gets us some health back. Sword exhibition. A few of the more pompous attendees appear to be preparing for a sword play exhibition. Let's play or ignore. Oh, let's play. You show off your skills in a mock combat with another fair goer. You take a few cuts, but remain standing victorious. I am the fair sword champion. Jousting tournament. Let's do something else. Head over and watch. Why the heck not? Uh, yep, it's a lot of fun. I wonder if at some point we will acquire a horse. And then if we come back here... If we have a horse in this little list of things just here, we can then have a go at jousting. I wonder if that's a thing that can happen. Um, ring toss. Nah, not bothered. Okay, let's head back to there then. Um, the city baker. The baker perks up as you walk by. Um, okay, I'll buy some bread. Got some health back. What a cheap yet filling delicacy. Indeed. Right, the large party. This has come up many times before. Peering in through the gates, the Queen is still bored by the festivities. Oh, dearie me. They should do something about that. They should do something about the festivities if the Queen is bored every single time. A shady figure. Oh, it's you again. Oh, go on then. I'll have whatever, <laughs> whatever it is in your pocket. Although, yes, I have been warned about people like you. Ah, the shady figure takes your coin before running away, cackling like the crazed lunatic he is. Well, that was a bit predictable, wasn't it? The tavern. 
Uh, yeah, go on, go on. Let, let's stay in the tavern. Let's get a room, get a health back, and we shall hang out in the tavern. As you sit with a drink, one of the stuffed heads adorning the walls begin to scream. It leaps off the wall and attacks the other patrons. What? What, what, what? <laughs> what? Oh, never being attacked by the cheese board. An evil enchanted head in a tavern. Hero time. Run outside with the crowd. No, fight. Come on. Fight. There we go. So we got a bit of a hit, but our level has gone up to nine. It's looking very good. Our karma is absolutely flying. Um, Leave town. Maybe it's time to get back on the road. Head out or stay longer. Do we need to lurk around the town anymore? I think what we should do is, I think that we should stay in the town, we'll go to the tavern, we'll spend a little bit of our gold, we'll get a health back, and then we'll go and take on whatever challenges lie in the next place that we find. So whether it's the woods or the desert or the frozen wastes or whatever. So let's stay in town for a bit longer. Let's not go to the fair. You're off the chance to buy a fine horse. And I knew we'd get a horse at some point. Um, okay, let's buy a horse. 200 gold for a horse. That's quite cheap, isn't it? You pay the stable master the coin and grab the reins of your new horse. That is not a horse just there. <laughs> that, that is a zebra's head right there. Um, okay. I mean, have we bought ourselves a zebra? Uh, right. Well, that's certainly unusual. There we go. So we've got ourselves what might be a tamed horse, but could possibly be a zebra. We're not entirely sure, but there you go. We've got, we've got, you know, transport now. That's nice. Um, the baker. Yeah, we got some health back from him, didn't we? A cheap yet filling delicacy. Um, I'm not even going to bother looking at the party because we never do. The shady figure can go away. <laughs> okay, right. So there's lots of similar bits going on. 70 out of 82. I still want to go to the tavern. There we go. The tavern. Get a room for the night. Get health back. Tiny bit of gold. Um, tavern hangout. Yeah, go on. Why not, actually? Let's see if anything happens. An old sailor approaches you. He needs a guard to protect his ship from pirates out at sea. <gasps> I can go out to sea? Yes, please. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go. Absolutely. He leads you to his ship. His crew loads up for an ocean voyage. An older man sprays himself down with pirate repellent. What did you just sign up for? <laughs> I wasn't aware there was such a thing as pirate repellent. I would have bought some from a shop. Um, so we've got a borrowed ship and a human crew. Okay, this is fascinating. Right, a pirate attack. A pirate ship dashes in from the mists. Their crew prepares to fire on you. Um, okay, so oh, I'm, hang on. I'm the cannon champion. Take a shot with the cannons. Oh, look at that. So the ridiculous fair thing I did <laughs> that caused me a bit of damage and I think probably cost me a little bit of gold, means I can now fire cannons much better. So I will take out the pirate ship. There you go. With your training at the fair, cannons are yours to command. A few well-placed shots smash the pirate ship apart. They yar, their last yars, as they sink to their watery grave. <laughs> Absolutely no more yars from you. A school of fish. The ship passes over a delectable school of fish. Good word, delectable. You don't see that often enough. Leave them alone or cast the nets. Joe, you know what? Yeah, let's do that. So we topped up our health. We didn't really need to, but that's, you know, it was there. We might as well have done it. You deploy a net and scoop up some of the school. With some quick seasoning, they make a great snack. Delicious bit of salted fish. Very nice. The sea in storm. In a moonless night, the ocean kicks up a terrible gale. Abandon ship, sail out of the storm. I'm not going to abandon the ship. That's a terrible idea. We're in the middle of the sea, I'll be dead. So yeah, let's try and sail out the way. You uncertainly coax the crew to steer out of the storm. Why am I doing this? Surely I should not be doing any... Oh, no, I'm coaxing the crew. Oh, no, sorry. I thought that meant I was um, I was actually piloting the, uh, the boat there. No, I'm not doing that. I'm making the crew tell us to get out the storm. Okay. Several orders get crossed. And as the sails open, the ship twists and capsizes. You're tossed to the waves. Now, in the background, it's playing sad music. Have I drowned? No! I'm marooned! <laughs> My goodness me! I'm on Eastern Island. I wash up on the shores of a deserted island. I'll swim away while I'm marooned. Damn. I'm not going to swim away because I'll die. I don't know where to swim to. Um, okay, I'm marooned. Okay. Uh, banana bushel. They look quite appetising. Yeah, I mean, I would say it wasn't a banana, but okay, that's fine. Take it with me or eat it. Take it with me. I don't need to eat it because I've got full health. You grab the bananas and throw them over your back. These might come in handy later. Yes, I imagine they will. Uh, a large tree. This tree could have many uses. 
Climb for a coconut. Build a campfire. Now you're talking. So I get my health back. Soft beach. This could be a great opportunity to scavenge. Relax and enjoy nature or salvage for supplies. The only thing is, a supply is going to keep topping up my health. Because I'm already on full health. What did that do? Um, oh, oh, hang on a minute. I think I've got a treasure. As you dig around the beach, you pull up a treasure chest. You help yourself to some loot. Oh, oh, so loot is just a generic thing. Loot isn't a specific item. It's not like, you know, the loot is a magic sword or a magic goblet or a beautiful necklace or whatever. It's just some loot. Okay, right. So now I have two out of the five loot that I can hold. Ah, I see. A shipwreck. It must have been here for some time. Gather food, gather wood. Uh, yeah, food. I'm all right for health. So let's gather some wood. So that costs a little bit of health from a, from a splinter. Ow! You spend some time gathering what you could from the ship. Just as you grab the last plank, the whole thing falls apart and floats off to the sea. But we do now have some planks as well. Okay. Um, I do like the fact that I still have my horse. <laughs> I've, still, I've still got my horse. Um, a dangerous looking path. This must go to the centre of the island. Must it? Why must it do that? Okay, let's stick to the outside of the island, or I'm not afraid. Yeah, let, let's go to the inside. Look, we, we've got plenty of health. The signs warned you that the most, danger, uh, most dangerous creatures were toward the centre of the island. Still, you were not dissuaded. A gold mine. It must have stopped production long ago. Yep, we're going into the gold mine. The cave is dry. The mine has left some TNT behind. That's quite difficult to read in that font. Some TNT behind. You decide to take it. You never know when something is going to need blowing up. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> so I'm carrying around all sorts of random stuff. I must have a very big backpack. Uh, jungle spiders. These remind you of something. Is it ordinary spiders? Uh, yeah, we'll fight them, absolutely. We get a, oh, we're up to level nine. Uh, okay, so tropical frog. Uh, aha, it looks poisonous. Uh, we'll fire tropical frog. 14 health down. A path back to the beach. Yeah, that sounds quite tempting. Do you want to head back to the beach? Uh, or do we carry on? Head out or stay here? Do you know what? No, we'll stay here. We'll wander around the centre of the island and see what we can find. A metallic grate. <gasps> some sort of spooky magic portal. It has some kind of padlock on it. Are you kidding? There could be a monster in there. Or open it. Oh, open it. Absolutely. You try your best, but it won't budge. It's clearly protected with some magical force. The only thing you can make out is a padlock that asks for a series of numbers. Okay, a series of numbers. Right, more spiders. Fight them. Um, okay, maybe... Oh, we can carry on a bit more, can't we? We're over half health. Let's let's stay here and see what we find. So the metallic grate, we'll, we'll open it again. But yes, yeah, series of numbers. Tropical frog. Fight that. They're quite hard. The metallic grate again. Okay, we'll just leave it this time. Jungle spiders. Fight them. Oh, no. Oh no, now we need to get out of here. I want to go back to the beach now. <laughs> Tropical frog. Looks dangerous, looks poisonous. Um, can we run away? Are we going to take any damage if we run away? I imagine we might. The frog seems unfazed. Ah, good, right. It didn't kind of you know, uh, run after us and hurt us as we were fleeing. Okay, um, yes, head out back to the beach, please. You can back out of the jungle in a random place. Monkeys, they have noticed your bananas. There, if that's what monkeys look like in this world, they are terrifying. And any zoo that puts them in it is is just awful. <laughs> look at those. They're absolutely horrific. Okay, monkeys, have the bananas. Actually have the bananas. It's fine. The monkeys are incredibly happy with your offering of bananas. They decide to join you on your adventure. So I'm now joined by, by a monkey crew. <laughs> okay. Right, okie dokie. Um, so the next thing is a pathway around the island. Do you want to go to the eastern shore? Do you know what? What I think we'll do is, now we've washed up on this island, so we're stuck on a desert island. It was all looking quite nice. We've, we've done all sorts of things, but day 135 into our adventure, 135 days after we set off for Aluris with our uncle and a trinket, we find ourselves completely beached on this desert island. I think what we'll do is, 
We'll come back to this. So we'll finish up for now and we'll pop back and just see what's going on because there's a few things I want to know. Number one is, can we get off the island? And number two is, what happens if our karma maxes out at, I assume, 100? Because it looks like we're getting quite close to the cap there. Does lots of exciting stuff happen if we have a karma of 100? Does lots of lovely stuff happen? Um, also, our level is on nine. That's pretty good. Got a nice amount of gold. Not that we can use it here in the middle of nowhere. Our health is a little bit low. We've got ourselves a couple of lovely shiny trinkety things. And we have all sorts of stuff here. So what are we actually carrying around with us on this desert island? Um, we've got ourselves a musical instrument, a barrel, a fruit basket, a load of monkeys, <laughs> some TNT, some planks, and a horse. So we <laughs> just got this we've got this entourage i'm imagining the monkeys are riding the horse that's what i'd like to envisage is going on and i'm just sort of plodding around the beach thinking oh my goodness me where did it all go wrong i thought i was a farmer this is terrible so um so yeah we'll finish up for now and we'll come back but this is intriguing i like this i like the fact that it's telling a nice tale i like the fact that we've got a story out of this so uh, yeah we'll finish up for now and we shall pop back and just carry on our adventures hopefully you have enjoyed this if you have then please do leave a like that would be most marvelous indeed and also if you're not already then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here in our travels in Aluris. but for now thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and i will see you next time They've ripped my arms off, ripped my legs off. I mean, you know, unfortunately they didn't rip anything else off. Yes, I'm off my face on mushrooms. Why, Lady Charlotte, I, uh, I would certainly love to taste your cake. The King of the West is an idiot. I am off my face on mushrooms. I mean, asking me questions isn't going to be my strong point at the minute.